Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fun one. This is a video that happens every month. It is my reading wrap up. I know this lighting like isn't the best since I am backlit, but I just think this is the best like background, so apologies. This is my March um, reading wrap up. I read 13 books and they were all so good, so we're gonna go through them all. Um, I'm also really excited because I never do a TBR. My only TBR is a like pick one non-fiction book that I'm gonna read and that's my only TBR but for the month of March I did have a TBR and I'm pretty sure I read all the books that was on my TBR. I can't remember exactly. I think I had four and I think I read them. So yeah, I'm just really excited about that. It's a huge accomplishment for me because I'm definitely a mood reader. So just the fact that my mood fit my TBR was really good. Um, but yeah, we're just going to get started into this. Um, I have my Goodreads and my story graph linked down below. I also have a reading Instagram um, where I post like almost daily, not really, at least weekly. Um, so you guys can follow that. That's down below. I do want to say I am recovering from a cold or like some type of sickness. So my voice does sound weird. So apologies for that. I'm not going in order. So I'm just grabbing and I'm going to show you guys. Um, so the first one I have here is Somebody Loves You by Mona Arshi. Um, this book is really interesting. It is a novel. It is the first novel, I'm pretty sure, from this author. Um, but what's really interesting is each chapter is actually a poem. The author's actually done, like, poems before, but I think this is her first, like, novel. I've, I hope I'm telling you guys correctly. I actually was gifted this, um, while I was in the UK from one of my friends, Major. I rated this three stars. I thought it was good. It was really sad. I thought the writing was incredible. Um, but yeah. I liked it. Yeah, next one I have is How to Love Your Neighbor. I rated this one at three stars. This one's by Sophie Sullivan. I actually read this right after I finished uh, season two of Bridgerton because I just loved it so much and I wanted like an enemies to lovers like romance and I knew this one was like enemies to lovers or at least I assumed it was. Um, so I don't know if the reason that this fell flat is because I just watched an amazing show. I don't think this book was bad at all. I rated it three stars. Like that means I liked it. Um, it just wasn't like the best romance I've ever read. I don't know why. Maybe it was a writing. The pacing was weird. Um, I don't know. It was good. Like I would read it again and I'm going to keep it. I rated it three stars. Like I said three times. But um, yeah. This next book was actually on my TBR and that was my rest or sorry my year of rest and relaxation. I rated this one four stars. This book was so interesting. I thought the ending was like so shocking. If you guys have read this one let me know if you were expecting the ending. Like it seemed like almost out of place but I also really just enjoyed this writing style and although the main character wasn't exactly likable I still really enjoyed the story. Um, and since I liked this author's like most polarizing book I'm really excited to read um, other books by her. So this one I have is Good Girl Complex. I have read the Off Campus series by L. Kennedy so I was super excited with this new release. Um, I think it came out in January. Maybe it came out in February. I don't remember but this is part one of what I believe is just going to be a duology. Um, so I'm super excited about this, but I thought it was such a cute, like, beach read. Definitely fits summer vibes, um, but super quick read. Rated it four stars. The banter was so cute. It, the story's very interesting, um, but I did enjoy it. The next two were also on my TBR, and that is Sally Rooney's Conversations with Friends and Beautiful World, Where Are You? And just to throw it in, I also read the short story, Mr. Salary, all by Sally Rooney. I rated these all five stars. I love her writing. I think it's so good. Um, I, I think my favorite book that I've read by her is Conversations with Friends, so I'm definitely excited for the Hulu adaptation to be coming out soon in May. Super excited for that. Um, but yeah, I tabbed this so much, and I know this is her first novel, so the fact that it was my favorite is really interesting. But I also did really enjoy Beautiful World, Where Are You? And of course, like, the short story was good as well. I love her writing style. I know she's not for everyone, but I think she's for me, and so that's all that matters. The next one I have is Layla by Colleen Hoover. This one was so good. Colleen Hoover is an amazing author, and her plot twists are always, like, so shocking. And this book is unlike anything else she's ever written. And it made me mad while I was reading it, but then I was like, oh, 
oh my gosh yeah um but i thought it was great i would definitely recommend it if you like colleen hoover i will say it is a lot different than her other um novel so don't be expecting like it ends with us or like ugly love or something like that um i would say this leads closer to verity but again it's like not the same as verity either but if i were to choose what it's similar to that's what i would say i read a short series or actually it's a long series but there's only two physical copies and you guys can probably tell it is the ice planet barbarian um series there's like 20 20 something books i keep on forgetting but these are actually technically four of however many it is because it has the um like novella of the couples at the end so i read ice planet barbarians i really enjoyed it i rated both of these three stars um but i thought the banter was super cute i actually really enjoyed this story i don't know if i should be embarrassed i have two reading vlogs um up for both of these so if you're wanting to learn a little bit more about them i genuinely really enjoyed them and i will definitely be like continuing on the series when more publish i know two more of the books are getting published in paperback in 2022 so i'm definitely going to pick those up and i have um this one which was my last one on my tbr and that was who are you following by sadie robertson huff i rated this five stars i thought the message was really good this was my nonfiction of march really glad i read it um i think sadie robertson has grown a lot and i could just like tell that in her writing i have another nonfiction book and that is 101 essays that will change the way you think i've been reading this since august so it was such a relief to finally finish it but guys the essays are so good it's really good to digest them probably why it took me like several months um but yeah i really love this one i would definitely recommend it if you're interested in nonfiction or bettering yourself i think this one's really good to start with my last book of the month of march i actually read it on my uh phone on books and also this is just a tip books has like free things so if you have apple i would recommend it i did buy this one um but yeah this is the second book of the it happened one summer bellinger sisters i'm pretty sure rated this five stars i guess i did rate this one five star i love this one the epilogue made me cry not actually but like i was like oh my gosh it's so sweet um i think tessa bailey's writing is great at least one of the two novels that i read and i just love the series yeah guys those are the 13 books i read in the month of march i will be posting a april tbr i'm gonna make a separate video for that should only have a few books so don't expect anything great but if you want to see what i'm reading in april uh you guys can go ahead and subscribe let me know what you guys read in the month of march your favorite book have you read any of the same books and i will talk to you guys very soon peace and love bye guys Oh my gosh.